Welcome to PG... Looks like I recovered from a bad overclock. Yes, you can't overclock your brain to 1776. It's just too damn patriotic. So you're here for one of two reasons. One, you jacked up your overclock. You want to know how to fix that shit. Or two, you plan on jacking up your overclock and you want to know how to fix that shit beforehand. Um, so, there are two types of jacked up overclocks. One is just a non-stable overclock, so it's really difficult to boot into windows, and sometimes it crashes before it even boots into windows. And the other time, it just won't post. And for the time where it just won't boot into windows, you know, you gotta do one of these things, where you just press the function keys, and you go into your setup, and you just change the clocks, either lower the clock speed or lower the voltage, and voila. You can even reset your clocks through um, your, uh, your UEFI or your BIOS, and that's an easy fix. The second fix is a slightly more complicated, but still equally easy, depending on your, um, your motherboard, it can be even easier. If you have one of these motherboards, all you have to do is click the clear CMOS button and that will reset your clock and you will be good and then you can try again. But if you don't, it's slightly more complicated. So let's get into that a little bit. Alright, me mateys. So the easiest option for fixing a bad overclock if you don't have the clear CMOS, I don't think this one does, oh, nope, it doesn't, is you pull the battery out, like this, you just pull it out, um, are you clipped in? Or this is editing, Peter, and well, I forgot to mention something, the absolute quickest way to fix a bad overclock is to check your motherboard manual and see where it is in there. And if you don't have your manual, you can get one online. That's how cool the internet is. Anyways, back to the video. Or what? How are you put in there? Oopsies. And you want to make sure that your all the IO is unplugged and there's no le possible electrical current going to your device and if need be you even hold down the power button for 10 seconds to make sure you kill all power and then you go to the battery and you short the two sides and what that does is it clears the internal memory of your previous uh, your, your, it clears your CMOS basically and so it doesn't remember being ever overclocked and it'll reset where the CPU was and you just short it. There's some other tricks for certain motherboards. Sometimes if you short two pins, like, I don't know, like here you short two pins, that'll do it for the motherboard I have in that system. Um, there's just two pins you can short or for this motherboard, you just pull a battery out and short it. Again, make sure absolutely no, and I mean nothing, is connected that is connected to electricity, and you want to hold down your power button until all electricity is gone, which is normally around 15 seconds. I'd go 15 seconds. And then pop the battery out, short it, and that should be good. That should just do it. You don't have to pull the motherboard out of your computer um, or out of your case. You just you short it while it's in there. Just make sure nothing is connected or you'll jack up your, 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 your crap, man. Anyways, there you go. That's the quickest ways to uh, fix a bad um, overclock. I hope this helps you and continue to be the PC Master Race I know and love. Peace out.